guys what's up Tamara here I actually burned myself trying to adjust the lights for this recording so I apologize if it's too dim for you but hopefully not because I have an awesome book to tell you about today I'll be reviewing it ends with us by Colleen Hoover this is a contemporary fiction title and I've got lots to say on the matter before I jump into that like I always do I'm gonna share with you what I'm drinking and today I'm just drinking some water it's pretty late at night so I'm not gonna drink coffee or tea that with caffeine or even alcohol I'm hydrating before bed so this is my go-to sparkling water it's by ice mountain it's really delicious and yeah that's that so let's jump into it like I said it Ends With Us is a new adult contemporary fiction novel. Some people have considered this a romance, but me personally, I would not. The subject matter is very serious and it has a serious tone. While this cover art looks like pink and purple and it looks happy and it makes you think about love because of how it looks, it really is a more in-depth, more serious story than what the outside looks like. So looks can be deceiving. It Ends With Us is told from Lily's point of view. Lily is a young woman that moved from a small town in Maine to Boston when she left home and decided to go to college. At the very beginning of the book, Lily is returning back to Boston after her father's funeral. So she is there on the roof in Boston, someone's roof, not her roof. And she is just trying to get her bearings, understand what happened during her father's funeral and how she screwed up the eulogy so bad. Or did she screw it up? She didn't screw it up. Anyway, while she's on the roof, Riley comes along. The handsome, young neurologist Riley comes up onto the roof to have himself a smoke of something and finds her up there and you know from there there's clearly some chemistry between them but they don't start dating then. They have an interaction, they go on their way and then they see each other you know throughout the next I don't know year and a half or so they keep bumping into each other in the meantime you know Lily is doing her thing living her life Riley is doing his thing living his life now you know every time they bump into each other we know that there are strong feelings you know attraction between them and we're just waiting for them to hook up we know it's coming right alongside this story we get a little backstory Lily reads her old journal and we find out about her first love Atlas and Atlas's story is really sad. He was a homeless high schooler. Um, he basically was kicked out of his home and he couldn't go back. He was living in a vacant home next door to Lily. So as Lily grows up in high school, obviously Atlas is several years older than her. They eventually hook up and become boyfriend girlfriend and they're really cute. But as it happens, Atlas had to graduate from high school and it was time for Atlas to move on. So he did and so did Lily. Um, that whole story was kind of sad but I'm not going to get too far into it. I don't want to spoil anything. But anyway, so in the meantime, the plot moves along and Lily and Riley actually do hook up and being that I knew what this subject matter was about I kept waiting you know how you wait for the other shoe to drop it drops and it drops hard not to the fact where we really dislike Riley in this book at all but you know when it comes you're kind of like no why is this happening I really like this character why is he doing this why 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 but I'll tell you why it's because it's trying to let you know that what you see on the outside is not always what's on the inside. He's a well put together guy. He seems like the sweetest guy, the most considerate guy. And it goes kind of left. It not kind of, it does go left. And this story is not a love story. It's a story about stopping the cycle. And that's what it ends with us means. This cycle ends with us. I'm not gonna tell you how, when, where, why, but it does end with them and this is a story that everyone should read young old everyone because domestic abuse is a real thing and it happens every day to people you don't know what happens behind closed doors and this really opens the door for conversation about it um this was a book club read this was shelf addiction online book club september read and i feel like this is a great book for discussion um several people in my real world book club read this and every time we see each other we're talking about this book we're talking about how great it was we're talking about how sad and heart-wrenching it was and how it had a great message how you have to stop things before your next generation picks up those bad habits and starts all over again because that's how these things work right so with all of that said I love the plot 
the pacing was stellar i read this in two sittings the characters were full-bodied and they were dynamic and i liked them and i wanted to like them even when they were doing bad things i felt that the author did a great job expressing um, how these things happen without kind of I don't know making someone seem like an absolute bad guy just sometimes bad things happen and you just have to stop it you have to get out of it and it is what it is um the story itself was just amazing i mean it really told this serious story in the best way possible it was palatable it wasn't too over the top and it was believable of all things you know like i said so the plot was on par the pacing the characters good the theme important and with all of those things rolled together you know plus the sub characters that were really stellar i really liked riley's sister and um his brother-in-law i really liked lily's mother even though she is you know a mother and you know how sometimes mothers get regardless i really liked her character and most of all i liked atlas I really did and he was a strong kid and he's a strong man and I really so I really liked all the characters even when bad things were happening so with that said let me just go ahead and rate this for you I rated it ends with us five out of five bookmarks and you guys know I do not give away five bookmarks freely I, I hold on to that five for when it really counts and it really counts here it's a great read it's great for book clubs it really opens the door for discussion of an important topic so I definitely recommend this for everyone um, obviously not too young because you know it's some heavy things going on and sometimes it does get a little intense at times so definitely not too young but it, for adults and young adults this is definitely a must read this is a topic that needs to be addressed and is a great conversation starter um, for women and men alike and young or old it's an important story to read so i must applaud colleen hoover for tackling this subject in such a graceful way so that is it for today you guys if you've read this title please share with me below what you thought of it did you like the characters did you like the story did you how did you deal with the theme of physical abuse did you read other things by colleen hoover if so let me know in the meantime please like and share this video with your bookish friends i would really appreciate that also hit that subscribe button below before you go so you don't miss a new video so until next time happy reading bye guys